the good. cutest boxing fight ever. Oh, key fight. No, right. Darren Till should have fought one of these guys. <laughs> Darren Till might have got oh, taken shit. down though. Yeah. <laughs> Ankle pick. Yeah. It looks like they're fighting over lollipops. Dude, these two guys are Eddie Hall. Thirty of those guys were Eddie, Eddie Hall. <laughs> Bilal still has the worst nickname in UFC history. You're wrong, dude. You're wrong. Because you're gonna remember the name when Bilal Muhammad chokes. That's the thing. He's about to fight for the title, and no one's remembering his name. I think rewatch the first Leon fight, and I think that's how it's gonna go. Got Habib. Dude, Habib's in debt. Three million, bro. I don't care. Honestly, a lot of his one-liners, even the ones that people quote unquote like, frozen like Elsa. He loved yeah. that one because he used it twice. I'm gonna leave you frozen like Elsa. Frozen like Elsa. I don't think you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> frozen like Elsa. He's an ice movie. princess. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> the casuals mma combat sports show hosted by very casual fans today we're all wearing black in honor of david dying yesterday from eating a bad bullet egg i oh, threw you, up <laughs> what happened food poisoning? i had food poisoning i threw up so many i don't like throwing up at all no like, way it's like one of my biggest fears i love it no <laughs> way, dude. it's so good <laughs> no, 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 no. most people like if they have to throw up they'll throw up yeah. right i refuse like I will do everything I can not to if you feel sick you're like oh I feel like I'm a yak I'm gonna just yak I don't do that I'll just do everything I can I hate the way it feels also it's a waste of money you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ate the good food <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> you need the nutrients I don't like that though but I kind of switch to where I'm like and I feel it I was like, let me just get this over with. You See, feel way better. And I literally just put my finger in my throat and oh, force myself to throw up. LA, All right, you before dinner or after dinner? My throat. <laughs> Sound like a blonde girl to me, dog. Haktua. <laughs> you know what I mean? My bad. Shout out to girl. Hit my line. Type shit. Dude, that girl's country as f I, exactly. That's I was like looking for shocked. her page just mm. for research purposes, and then <laughs> I, I heard her talk. She's uh, super country. Yeah. Well, I'm out here to quit my job. <laughs> Dude, Bro. she's from like a town with like 700 people. She like, worked oh, at a spring yeah. factory. It's my what type the fuck of girl. is that? Exactly. They make springs like like for, in mattresses, yeah. mechanical pencils. Bro. And she doesn't want to, like, people are asking her to do OnlyFans. She goes, I ain't doing no OnlyFans. I like Spring Factories. <laughs> They're like, they say I'm going to move. I'm going to live here with Nana for the rest of her life. <laughs> like, go country yeah. as yeah. fuck, dude. <laughs> Hot too. What a great way to do this. Bro, yeah. one joke. Not even a joke. Just yeah, she's just being herself, thing. just having yeah. fun. People be hating on her for no reason. Like, dog, she was just out on the street. She got interviewed. She made a light joke, and she blew up. That's all. Yeah. Why y'all mad at her yeah, for? Yeah, it's not People like she planned it out and made some like yeah. weird sketch or anything. He's literally just talking. It's not like she started OF and I was in power slap. It's cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, true, and flinch at every strike. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that was the big controversy though. That <laughs> yeah. she was just, I was upset. Well, you can't flinch. And you can't flinch. You can't flinch. You can't, you can't move. You can't move. You get slapped again. You yeah, move. you're supposed to. But then they never did that for her. Even though I don't care. I don't follow that sport at all. But I saw the videos. I'm like, well, she flinched every. How do you not like before? Like, how do you not? Not everybody's a pussy, Nick. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Some... Would you ever do? Say they came to you and gave her like, hell no. Here's 200k. Let me do power slap for 200K? me. Yeah, 200K. hell yeah, I'll do power, oh, I'll do that power slap for two hundred. As long as I get little earplugs and stuff, dude. Good. Maybe even like ten k, I might do it. Damn, bro, no, 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 no. Two hundred k, I would just get knocked out on the first one. I even pretend. I just <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. He didn't uh, slap him. Yeah. I just fell backward. You're down. Your eyes closed. You're like, <laughs> I just they just see me on the floor smiling with my hands doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk two, Hawk two. I mean, dude, think face, about it. 10k just to get slapped, bro. 10k a couple times on them. Yeah. Isn't like three rounds? How do they do it? What's the format? That's three rounds plus, three? plus overtime. Oh right. shit! I've never watched a full slap composition. Yeah, we just watch the clip and that's it. Yeah, yeah. I just see the knockouts. Me too. I've never. Paige watched. slapped the fuck out of that one chick though. Yeah, she did. They the have Mo a. The I think they have one in Russia where they just slap titties. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Can't tell if this is real. Bro, I'm not for real. I'll do that one. There's a whole like, I don't, I don't know if it's Russian, but there's a whole like. Fight promotion where they just argue on stage, <laughs> like a press conference, and they just fucking throw oh, down. Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, it's Russian. Yeah. All yeah. the Russian ones. Bro, there was this Flying one chick knees. where there's, she, I think she's Kazakh. She's Kazakh. She's talking shit to this one guy, and this guy runs at her. She fucking hip tosses. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like a judo Olympian. Uh -huh. And she was trying to pick fights with this other guy. And I'm like, I need to know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, she, she's I just need like some subtitles. Yeah. Asian Russian, right? Bro, she flipped him and the guy sits up like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know <laughs> what he oh. said in Russian, but it was something like, oh, shit. He's like, oh, shit. Uh, I mean, Rich, <laughs> oh, yeah. The booty, just, it wasn't titties. It was booty. My bad. Oh, I fucked up. Wrong anatomy. Bro, they're, they're going to. How do you win this? 
Huh? Everybody wins. <laughs> that's how you win. The guys that have SWAT on people their shirt in the crowd wins. wins. See that those guy? guys definitely aren't they're security guards, but they're like, "Can we please be security for this?" Yeah, <laughs> Paul's holding his dick because yeah. it's hard. Bro, Bro, I would love to be part they, have, of they have SWAT on their t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Dude, think about if like DDP and Israel did this instead. Oh, <laughs> who would win? DDP. I think you no. Know, Israel has bigger hands, right? So it might do more damage around the whole cheek. Bro, what uh, is that? <laughs> I Dog, just, they had that a DDP Israel. Oh, let's conference. talk about that, dude. Oh, that yeah. shit was funny. That one liner that he got him with. Yeah, yeah whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What did he say? I don't care where he's from, but I'm gonna let him know where he's from. No, he goes. Where, I don't know what is it? where he's from, but I'm gonna show him who he is. Show him who he is. <laughs> and it was kind of one of those wop wop wop. I feel yeah, like, yeah. yeah, is he? He's he had it though. in the beginning, and then it kind of just like started dying. He just down. has to stop trying to do the one liners. Yes. Right. Yeah. And honestly, a lot of his one liners, even the ones that people quote unquote liked, Frozen Like Elsa. Yeah, I like that one. one. It's that like, shit was tight. He loved yeah. that one because he used it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And both times didn't. Work. I don't think you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen Like Elsa. <laughs> the movie. The yeah, she's an movie. ice princess. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. All I right. have a. Uh, she has a clicker in the back. <laughs> Bring it down. See this? It's called Frozen. Yeah, it's but, like timestamps. <laughs> yeah, he definitely his one liners are not that great, and I think like remember he's like I'm gonna drop him like the Twin Towers. Oh, oh yeah, oh, worst God. one. That one kind of good. Yeah, yeah. Kinda you love good. these one liners. I dude. like it. I yeah, like dude. Because it. it makes you go like this. Oh. I'm gonna keep him in prison like Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> Open air prison like Gaza. Open air prison like Gaza. That's what the cage is gonna feel like. Hamas all day. <laughs> The whole crowd silent. It's like, yo, yo Izzy, chill the fuck. What is going on? Yeah. Now, uh, speaking on the the slap, did you? Guys, I just saw a video too where they have like leg kick competitions now. Nah, we're not doing that. So like, it was oh, this. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like this older white guy and like this younger guy, and they have like this mat, and there's like a little color thing. I'm guessing that's where your foot, your lead foot, has to stay. And they literally just ah, kept kicking like you're each other. Your shoe measure. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then this, and then they, the one guy just gives up, and then he wins. I'm like, damn, they're gonna start we're doing. Doing that. We're gonna start doing arm punches and shit. Remember Bro. that game? <laughs> Punch buggy. Yeah. I mean, punch you buggy you oh, in that one. My that shit. God. Bro, someone's going to break their fucking femur. Hey, Justin Gaethje, do this. But they, they have to oh. kick on the thigh, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Kyokushin, not, guys. That shit would, that just looks oh. like it hurt you. You have to be Kyokushin to do this. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Dude, mm. the next one after this is just calf kicks. Whatever Dude. happened to just fighting, bro? <laughs> God. Dude, the arm punch you know, might be sick. I don't the think arm about punch it. Would be you have sick. to stand there, just or like, burns. Oh, dead arm Indian bro. burns once. <sighs> oh yeah, you have twenty seconds to do your best. <laughs> to burn. Dude, imagine if he was like skin just start ripping. Yeah, I'm not doing. Yeah, this is those terrible. Legs. Already, dude. it's bad. It's just like baseball bats to the leg. Oh. Why wouldn't you wear like, I, dude? I'd wear like the thickest jean, like. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. That <laughs> I'm like, I wear padding on well, my leg. I, put, I wear a pad. Peter Britannica under there. <laughs> what? It's my leg. What are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> yeah, Fuck this stuff yeah. is getting wild out there, man. Do you guys think Izzy's going to come out and uh, beat Drickus in uh, great fashion? Because, you know, after I watched the pri- uh, the, the conference, mm-hmm. I went back to watch all. Of- I know what Izzy's like. Mm-hmm. I went to go back to watch all of Drickus's. Drickus fights like he's never fought a day in his life. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what fucks people up a little bit. Because Unorthodox. when you see him just... Such a curveball. He, yeah. he just like lumbers around. He looks like he's never fought before. It's like, very spastic. Yeah. Very like, dude, I can't get a good read. His arms are the same length as his legs. Yeah. It's disgusting. And I think he's I think he's way stronger Pac-Man. than people he looks expect. Like no, for sure. Because if you watch all of his fights, when he gets people down, he fucking controls them. Yeah. And that's how I think that fight's going to go. I think the blueprint of Sean Strickland kind of saying, if you just pressure Izzy, make him stay have to stay on his back foot, mm-hmm. that'll help you out a little bit. But I think Drakus is just going to be aggressive and take him down, honestly. The one thing I worry about is like, that path to getting to him, right? Cause yes. Izzy can walk him into something. Yes. But then again, the chaos of DDP, it's like oh. he does get tagged. You know, mm-hmm. he does get hit, but he's so strong and durable. And the threat of the takedown is so freaking scary where I don't know what the hell's going to. But that's every DDP fight, right? Yeah. yeah. He always looks like he's going to lose too. Like, I have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, I knew this fight was going to be tougher till, but even. When they got back up to their feet, Darren Till was lighting mm-hmm. them up. Yeah. Until, you know, he closed the gap and took them yeah. down. But, and that was the same thing how he finished uh, Robert Whitaker. Yeah. It was like that weird, Dude, like, shuffle was, jab. Brunson was actually piecing up fucking. Um, I was surprised by Duplessis. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And it's that pace, bro. It's like mm-hmm. when you have to go backwards the whole time. But that's Izzy's specialty. Like he's really good at that. Mm-hmm. He he could oh. he could fight those oh, guys oh, off. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you gonna stop it or? Dude, when he submitted Till and just sat on top of him, I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, bro, get the fuck off me. Yeah. This was the Already biggest won. shocker ever. When I was like, here live DDP for this, bro. Beat Whitaker? Yeah. Because this was that international fight with last year. I was so mad when Whitaker oh, lost this. That man. body shot really That's fucking That's when they killed him. Yeah. But he's got so much weight in those hands, though, dude. Dude, so I'm, I saw Drakus, and I said hi to him in Vegas this week. Because when we were staying there, we, I forget which hotel we were walking through, and he was walking through. Did you blow your kiss? Yeah, and I kissed him on the lips. I was like, I'm your coach. And he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but he's surprisingly a lot bigger than he's huge. he looks. Nah, he's, he's a 205-er. Yeah, he's he's, big, he's a big dude, too. So that's why I think, I honestly, I feel like people um, don't realize how how like strong and physical he is. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why it get he gets away with doing crazy shit like this. Because like you were saying, right, it's unorthodox. Especially when you're training with like all the best people in the world. Usually having people that are throwing punches clean and Chris doing everything how it's supposed to look and he's just throwing it awkward. Yeah, he's clumsy as it's shit. It's just it's yeah. just chaos. Yeah. It's, it's so funny with his highlights because there's not much because honestly, if you watch this fight again, Sean was piecing this full Sean, I, dude, I thought Sean won this fight. Everybody I thought did Sean, too. Yeah, I thought Sean, Sean was won. smacking him the fuck up in this yeah. fight, dude. But then it goes to that pressure, right? Yeah. Just like he's mm-hmm. never Forward, he time. never steps back. And it's just optics wise, it's the Look bad at looks for the guy. Face. It's just welted the fuck up. He got hit so many times. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, fuck. He had that headbutt that caused yeah. the little cut. And, yeah, I forgot about that cut too. Yeah, it was the headbutt that did it in. But look at his oh, fucking face. Yeah. It's so weird, right? They always say that we go off damage, but then it's been some fights recently where it's like someone's just like so fucked up and then they win. Well, too. if it was off damage, then fucking Ian Gary wouldn't have won that fight. Oh, I know. <laughs> wow, this guy found a way to bring him up, man. No, I love him. <laughs> Love him, I'm not a fan of Ian, so yeah. you uh, love the, him too. The, bro? the new, no. uh, the new uh, fight criteria is that you have to hug to win. That's what it is. Yeah. It's by love. <laughs> by he, won, love. he won by love. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Oh, uh, that fight I felt. feel like Izzy could just tag him with something coming in. I, I think, think so, so too, bro. I yeah. think he could snipe him. So but. official early picks. You can change this later, but early picks, Nick. Go. Oh, I could change later. Yeah. Perfect. I'll go Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I always go Izzy, dude. I'm gonna go uh, Drinkus. Ooh, drink is. You even changed the name. Drink is. Drink is. Yeah. Oh, drink this. I'm a go Izzy. You can't go wrong with Izzy, dude. You yeah. just Corny don't like his Izzy. lines. Are the stronger he is. It's not that I don't <laughs> like Izzy. I, it's so weird. Everybody asks me. I've just for some reason have never been able to be a fan of his. I, I get why. it. I don't know. Frozen like Elsa, bro. I got After frozen problems. like Elsa, bro. He toned me down like the Twin Towers type shit. <laughs> uh, speaking of Till fighting DDP, uh, did you guys see Till at... Uh... This fight was fucking weird, dude. It was. Weird. I didn't watch the fight. I just saw the end where he got in a brawl. I the thought, fight is a minute long. Yeah, I thought honestly. the guy was like a YouTuber. Supposedly he's an MMA guy. He has, he's like three and one or something. Oh. So like Darren Till was just... Spamming jabs mm-hmm. and left crosses. Was he winning? He was landing. Yeah, okay. he was. Yeah. He, the, the best guy, shot is coming up. Homeboy was homeboy was leaning back the whole time and like on his back foot, and it was like a weird Boop. back of the head punch. Yeah, and it, and it didn't seem like that much, but he was like, "Oh fuck, you hit me!" He was and then he, playing it. He fell on the ground. <laughs> yeah. He was like, "Oh." Like the Peter Griffin meme, you know? At first, it looked like he wanted just to complain to the ref, but then all of a sudden, he fell to the floor. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, they need to lift his legs up in the air. <laughs> all this, And then all of a sudden, he CPR back up and starts yelling at For the real. coaches. It, it that was is just the he way funniest out. thing ever, right? He's like, I'm in so much pain from the rabbit punch to the back of the head. I can't do anything. Then he gets up and does this. Here's a single leg. <laughs> Dude, whoever this Under Armour guy is, is anyone needs to find him. Because look, he, stomp- he started stomping on Till when he was on the floor. Till's, Till's teammates, some of y'all need to find him and fuck that fool up because that's not. Bro. How can you? How can you be in so much pain from the back from the back head shot that you just suddenly get up and you start wrestling? Get the yeah. fuck out of here, dude. dude. Like Till was right. He didn't want to be in there. Yeah, he, he did. literally. He, he did. was like, uh oh, he's a better boxer than me. And then even that round, he did wasn't the ref like telling him no, come out of your corner. Or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he was done. Dude, he didn't want to be. He in didn't want to fight him. He didn't want to yeah. be in there because he knew Darren Till was gonna sleep his fucking ass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, even look at his fight. Like even for Darren Till, right? He wanted to Darren Till's it. hands are down. He respect. He doesn't respect him at all. Yeah, yeah. And he, he only got the fucking single leg because everybody was grabbing yeah. Till. Mm-hmm. Like, even right there when he was like, like no, somebody's grabbing him. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't. He couldn't stop the takedown. Yeah. I think the most fun fight on this card though was Abdul. Y'all seen him, brother? What was that? Abdul or Zeke? You the guy was supposed to fight. Morgan? Abdul. Yeah, Morgan. <laughs> he, fought. he fought, bro. Abdul's homie. Morgan. That shit was. Morgan. Yeah, that shit was cool, bro. Morgan. Like, 
Yeah, dude. So I don't know. I don't know why they let that happen, but <laughs> the dude. cutest boxing fight ever. Look at these. Boys. Did you see the Bro. trash talking after? Yes, dude. That was the. Best. I need six. Why only three rounds? Yeah. Even though he kind of just got look at these fucked fools, up, low key fight. Oh, no, honestly, no, bro. look at this. Darren Till should have fought one of these guys. <laughs> Would have put up a better fight. Darren Till might have got oh, taken shit, down though. Yeah. <laughs> Angle pick. Yeah, bro. Dude, Abdul got fucked in this first round, bro. Dude, these two guys are Eddie Hall. Go. Oh shit. Dude, it looks like they're fighting over lollipops. <laughs> nah, you know what? Thirty of those guys are Eddie, Eddie Hall. <laughs> Thirty. Eddie Hall would still win. And one normal sized person. Ooh, there we go. See what happens. Oh, we're going to mix it up. And uh, what's it called? Clarissa Shields in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> randomly. <laughs> uh, they're trying to get Hasbulla to fight. Dude, Clarissa. seeing this though, Hasbulla might get fucked up by these My guys. Hasbulla, bro. bro. Let him throw he, kicks. He's even smaller than yeah, Hasbulla's Abdul. Too small. Yeah, Abdul yeah. or whatever the fuck. Nah, this bro. guy is just a normal sized person just shrunken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has like the normal sized proportions. Mm -hmm. The guy in the white. Yeah. Yeah, he's even bigger than Abdul. Yeah. What size gloves are these? Dude, fucking 40 ounces. <laughs> this <laughs> looks massive. like me when I was fucking four. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Bro, the guy in the white shorts, though. Oh, he actually got a box. Oh, they, they can hit, bro. Yeah. He, he was, actually got a box. He Dude, the back of the head. The ref having to lean down so <laughs> well, the, low. <laughs> he's on his knees. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, back ahead. <laughs> they should have had Hasbulla ref. That'd be fucking dope. Oh, man. oh, my God. Special ref. He just starts smacking him in the middle of their fight. And it's <laughs> always going to be the back of the head. The gloves are size, <laughs> twice the size of your head. Oh, my boy got formed though. Look at him. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, it was yeah, funny bro. that first round you see him. He's like, ah! He starts yeah. screaming and shit. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, what was this God. on? Was that on like DAZN or something? I think that was also. Was that not Social Knockout? I thought it was. Yeah, but where do they show Social yeah. Knockout? <laughs> it's all, three. My bad. Social Knockout all, three. These are all high quality <laughs> clips and it's all blurry. So <laughs> I have no idea. It's on Tubi. The craziest uh, thing is, I thought, <laughs> I thought Till was supposed to be boxing. Um, Chavez Jr. Yeah. And then is. all of a sudden he was doing this. I think he's no, because I think Chavez Jr. is fighting Uriah Hall now. Oh, what? The what? Fuck? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of a good fight. Uriah mm -hmm. Hall. Uriah Hall is a great jab. Yeah. So I'm like, I he he, he must have got offered a back for this fight then. Yeah. Because like, well, I mean, it's his first paycheck in like seven years. <laughs> yeah. He made it. Uh, would you guys think who had? Uh, people were kind of split on this. Jorge Masvidal, Nate Diaz, Nate Diaz. Hey, with, pause for a sec. Yeah. Go ahead. What is Maga? -ga? Maga. It's a Maga. Wait, it's Smaga. Smaga. I think it's supposed to be like Smaga type That's shit. That's a terrible real? brand. I have no idea. Is it supposed to be like a Maga like thing? A NFT or something? I have no idea. I, think NFT's I know it is a Maga thing, it's but a... it's it's make make America great again. That's what it is. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what make Smaga America is. great again again. Is yeah. Donald Trump gonna sue these guys or what? Probably. No, nah, he likes Jorge. Is that is that a copyright infringement? What's going on? Why can they do that? I don't understand. I don't understand who's. A lot of people thought Masvidal won, apparently, from what yeah, I read online. people were seeing power shots. A majority him. of people thought that Masvidal won. <clears throat> I asked that. Like, I posted it, but... By the way, these aren't their real bodies. Look. 100%. <laughs> Look how photoshopped Masvidal, this shit is. That's AI. Ball. The face. Masvidal's <laughs> belly should be twice that size. Mm. That is. Oh, he doesn't even... Have look. Dude, no. You're right, Nick, because he didn't even have the tattoo. Yeah. Jorge doesn't have the tattoo that he look, has. Dude. Yeah, they just fucking... Look at their necks. Wow. That's you can see by the necks and their face. Like, you're like... AI, you're man. Really AI. Yeah, it, it was just kind of... Uh, I don't know how to describe this fight. It just was back. It was a typical Nate Diaz fight. He gets touched, walks Jorge down the whole time. Jorge landed big shots. He, yeah. He had big overhands. I thought it was a fun fight. Uh, yeah, it was fun. A lot of people thought Jorge won for sure. It's just it was volume over power. It's what it, it was a volume fighter. I, I really do think fighter. though the the power shots meant more because even mm -hmm. when you're looking at the the flurry that Nate Diaz is throwing, it's all on his guard. He's actually blocking. Yeah, he's blocking a like lot. Like eighty percent of the shots he's blocking. Mm -hmm. And I think Jorge landed technically. I think on the actual numbers, Jorge landed Ooh. more punches. Yeah. yeah, he landed cleaner shots. Yeah, That's he landed more significant strikes and more just overall punches. <laughs> it it was just yeah. When when they said he won, I was like, eh, I don't know about that. That's where that pressure and just always walking forward. Like helped. look at that. Yeah, exactly. Wob Wobbled. Wobbled. Nah, but that you know he rolled his ankle a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> But he tagged him right back. So he looked. Boom. Boom. But it's, he, you know, he's always walking forward. He's always throwing something. So that's, it looks better. But also, Jorge's kind of right, bro. It's like, boom. He fought him in California. Yep. Like, like of course, boom. bro. But out of the two, Nate's the bigger star, no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? So it's like, they might have a little more incentive ooh, to ooh. get him going. Yeah. Cause what? Jorge boom. won the first one. Wait, Nate. But it is a crowd one. thing, maybe. Yeah, because that's what Jorge was saying, right? He's like, this guy would throw a jab, and you would hear the crowd scream. And like, then yeah. nothing was connecting, yeah. really. Jorge looked pretty good, though. No, he did. He didn't look bad. It just, Nate Diaz. Def 
I think the cool part about this match was these fools never throw single shots. It was just combo, 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 Which I combo. I like. Or his combinations look good, man. Yeah. Yeah, his boxing is good. He, I think he expected the high volume, so he was just waiting to counter in between. Mm-hmm. He took his time, it seemed like. Yeah. It seemed like Which I was thought impressive. was a good plan, and he was hitting harder, so I thought he won, but I guess I don't know what they were seeing. Because I, I think the goal when you fight Nate Diaz is like, you got to... You can't dump your tank too early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you have to extend And this is 10 rounds. That's a long time. And right? I think Nate switched it up on this because normally he kind of starts slow. Even on the first round, he came out just was going, going already. Just he got busy. Yeah. Who's the uh, who's the uh, the homie that's in his camp that also boxed? Chris Avalia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's that Pettis. Pettis. Yeah. Dude, Pettis, it's crazy. Someone posted it, and I was like, damn, that's true. They said at so, at one point in Pettis's career, he would dog walk someone of Chris's Avia's level. Yeah. And nowadays, it's just like it's yeah, he's I, just so bad. I, I don't know what's going on because he's not even that old. He's like 37, 36. <sighs> yeah. He shouldn't look like that. I think I think it's just like he's just picking up paychecks now. Bro. Yeah. It doesn't seem like his heart's in it or something. But even in the UFC, right? Like towards the end, the the last finish he got was Wonder Boy. Yeah. Yeah, by and even between hands. in between those fights, you're like, dude, what happened to Anthony Pettis? It, f- it seemed like he he had a start drop off. Yeah, Do you think it's right after the Benson Henderson? Lost. A lot of people were saying it was like because he lost that Wheaties deal. Oh, the Wheaties. Yeah, I think it was the Wheaties or steroids. A, a lot, yeah, a lot of people are speculating. <laughs> a lot of people are speculating that though. Like yeah. it was it was like right after Usada came in, and then he kind of fell off a cliff a little bit. Look at that dude crushing. WC Dude, he lost to favorite. Bart Palovisky. <laughs> <laughs> Palovisky. Who the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Dude, I, remember Bart, that. I remember that guy kind of. Yeah. Uh, he loses to RDA, and that's where it goes. Yeah. And then he beats Charles Oliveira out of nowhere. Oh. Yeah, that's when Charles Oliveira was, was still losing good. a lot. Yeah. Max Holloway, Jim. Yeah, I mean, he was fighting a murderer's row. In there. That's funny. That's remember we just talked Michael about it. Kiel. That the Max Holloway Pettis fight is when I first started really paying attention to Max. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that was the first fight, and damn, that was all the way in 2016. Bro, and then yeah. did not do well in the PFL. I didn't he know just he seems like he's a step behind. Like he he doesn't seem like he throws a lot. He doesn't have the dynamic striking. Seems like he can't put it together like he used to. Well, his striking was the thing that was so unpredictable Mm -hmm. that kind of had people on their toes, right? You didn't know what he was going to throw. And then after a while, his speed starts to disappear. Mm -hmm. And also just like his sharpness, like his acuity started going going away. And it just happened kind of out of nowhere because I was so used to him being this, oh, he's going to throw a spinning heel kick. He's going to throw crescent kicks. You don't know what the fuck he's going to do. Such a dynamic striker. And then after a while, he just wasn't as sharp. And I'm like... And then he wasn't as strong either. So when he would tag somebody, it didn't look like much. Yeah. So maybe it was Usada. I don't want to say anything. I'm not trying to tarnish his career. It kind of looked like, obviously, like I don't want to say, like, but it kind of looked like he started breaking in fights. Yes. You could see yeah. it a you lot. You saw that in the Tony Ferguson fight. Yeah, he you could crumbled. see him just break at a certain point, and then it was just downhill from there. And I, I, He just needs a vacation, bro. Yeah. Maybe he needs, he needs to, re- to just stop just fighting. Retire, bro. Just retire, bro. You on the Wheaties box, bro. Just chill. Hey, a little TRT. But he was like one of the first big stars in the UFC, like, mm-hmm. like in that modern era before like Connor and stuff. Dude, that fucking fence kick he did was nuts. That yeah. shit was one of the craziest things I've ever. Showtime seen. kick, and no one's ever done it again. Yeah, I oh I do it, but yeah. <laughs> 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 That'd be great. You're just at a gym. There's one guy by himself jumping off the Yeah, I'm just oh, drilling right just now. Drilling, dude. Drilling some show I, I, actually, can you stand right here? This doing a f- jumping off the fence to a low kick. <laughs> <laughs> Get to an oblique high. kick. <laughs> he jumps, but then still touches yeah. the ground. Just, <laughs> jump off a fence and calf kick me, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, He's a probably boy athletic. Speaking yeah. of calf Fuck kicks, uh, 1FC Fight Night 23, Knockout Central. We'll just start with this highlight reel and work our way down. Carrillo. Versus this was so, Sam Apec. So Sam Apec. You pronounce ours? No. Yeah. Sam Carrillo. 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 Wait, that's like Hispanic though. Yeah, no, it's Carrillo. Uh, dude, you he's Scottish. This dude. Oh my god. He has a nasty left hook, bro. That's, yep. He had some Pereira power there. Yeah. Okay, so it's either like the lighting in there or jacked, or these guys are just like. Oh, I almost wanted to say, do they test? Yeah. One FC. It's crazy because with this dude, he's so huge for this weight class. Yeah. Every time he fights, he's like a head size bigger than them. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Oh, they don't look oh. in the same weight class. Yeah. That fool's pressure is nasty. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it seems like once he gets a lot of these like Western guys, once they get in the Ooh. boxing range against the Muay Thai guys, it's it's Scary. hard for them to keep I, to I will keep say this, though. You know, 
is cool right now because he's super young, but he does get tagged a lot. Yeah, he gets hit. And like, you know, Ooh. he's kind of like banking on his chin. He's like, fuck it, I'm just going to go there and throw and bang. Mm-hmm. A lot of people aren't freaking, uh, what's this called? With the little Thai guy. Uh, Rod, Rod Tang? Not, you know, Rod Tang. Mm-hmm. Rod Tang, I don't know what it is about him. He has like a gimbal in his head where his brain is fine or something. Yeah, he's totally fine. But, you know, after a while, it starts to wear down on you. And he's kind of banking on his youth. And if he's trying to do that to the general, mm-hmm. I think he's going to feel something a little different. <sighs> Haggerty's yeah, nasty. Bro. That fight, yeah. man. And he's so technical and he's durable. He's a too. dog. Yeah. yeah. He, has, he has all those attributes where he could match up well against Carillo. Yeah. <laughs> Carillo. Carillo. Scotland. Carillo. From Scotland. Oh. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he's nasty. He's we, a nasty boy. We had our fight with, uh, Luke. I've been saying his name wrong. Bro, I thought it was Luke, Luke Lessey, but it's actually Luke Lessey. L- Lacey? Lacey. Lacey. Something like that. Lassie. Yeah, dude. Like, what I feel like the guy. difference maker in that Luke Lessey fight, I'm saying it wrong, in the <laughs> chef's fight, was I think the boxing on yeah. Coyote. Yeah. Dude, that guy, yeah, his jab, good. bro. That uppercut, bro. Dude, Dude that shit is. That, that was nasty. I watched the just the uppercut like six times because it was so fast. Yeah. And it was all the way through his chin. Yes, all the way. <laughs> so up until the third round, who did you guys have winning it? Luke. Yeah. Really? I thought Luke was doing Oh, really you didn't well. have Kuyute? I had Kuyute really? winning Kuyute. up until the first two rounds. First two rounds. Maybe I need to watch it again. And, and I just felt like um, Kuyute like, had just the better boxing. Like, as soon as he threw that jab down the middle, oh. it, it gave. It seemed like it gave uh, Luke a little bit of trouble. I just love Luke's elbows in it. A lot of yeah. people were saying that the ref stopped it early. Nah, nah. I think it, to me it felt. It didn't feel early if it wasn't like that consistently throughout the fights. Right, mm-hmm. there were other fighters who were way worse than him, and they gave him a count. Mm-hmm. I wish they would have given him an account because then it wouldn't. People wouldn't be saying shit. Yeah. Right? Because if they gave him a count, most likely he probably wouldn't have continued. I heard him say eight. I heard the ref say eight. eight. So it sounded like he counted. And then but he counted in his, in his head. <laughs> yeah. He was like, count eight. And yeah. Like, All right. That's it. But like then this, in, in Coyote, he got knocked down too. But it was kind of like yeah. he got rocked and then yeah. he got shoved down. Yeah. Yeah. He looked like he pushed him. Yeah. And yeah, then they, yeah. they did a standing eight count. So it was, I think a lot of people are like, what the fuck is that? A knockdown? I'm sure the ref could see it like in his eyes. You know, when he went and looked at him, he was probably like, oh, you know what's so guy. interesting too, especially with this whole thing is like, I've, I've seen Luke, I've been a fan of his for maybe like a couple of years mm-hmm. and I've seen a lot of his fights. Uh, this, this, this wasn't happening to him. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you step into a bigger arena, where the pool of talent is so much bigger, this is where you really get to test yeah. yourself. And now Luke is fighting people who are truly on his level, level. and now we're seeing fights like this. Yeah. This is crazy. And I only think that he's going to continue to get better from these type of experiences. Yeah. Absolutely. Because now he knows, oh, we're at a different level now. I need to get better. Yeah. I need to make smarter and better choices. Because he walked right into that uppercut. Ooh. Bro, yeah. Yeah, Kuyute, man. That dude was like, it was kind of crazy. Every shot he threw, he landed. Yeah. Dude, Luke. Really precise, Very. really clean, real technical. Dude, he had a sick ass post after he won this though. He says the say? best chefs are in Paris. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, that's a fucking sick ass Ooh. post. Take notice, Israel. I know, dude. <laughs> that's a good line. No mention of 9 yeah, 11. Yeah. <laughs> so he avoided it completely. <laughs> Israel out of sight. He's like, Goat is chewier than beef. <laughs> bah, fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bah, bah, black Put sheep. Towers. Have you any wool? <laughs> <laughs> So wait, yeah, David, you're saying that you felt like he didn't need a, uh, an eight count or a ten count. I think you should just give it to him, no matter. Okay. Especially because it was such a banger of a fight, and you know, I'm not saying that it was a bad thing, but I think they could have given it to him mm. just to see what would have happened. Dude, he was tagging him here yeah. towards the finish. It was this a knockdown? I that couldn't. Right so there. this is where they yeah. knock. This is what is they consider a knockdown. It is even if you throw the guy. I don't think that is though. That's why he was pissed, but it's like he was kind of out of it. Yeah, he was a little. I think those elbows were rocking the fuck out mm-hmm. of him. God, and this is where it's like, dude, oh, that man. uppercut is so. Nice. And he had him hurt, and he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna press," but this fool's boxing oh. was landing all fight. Oh man, Ooh-y. Luke is so fun Luke. to watch. Those man. elbows were fucking bink. Oh just that slip outside, dude. Oh. See, I'm curious why. Okay, so and he's dripping, bro. Yeah. So couldn't look. I think so. The oh, part seven. So you think that right there? Oh, how he fell. Leaning yeah. is where. Well, what right before he went, you saw his legs collapse yeah. a little yeah. bit too, yeah. bro. Watch. But the reason why I thought they could have given him an account right. too, he got right back up to his feet. Yeah. But yeah, he wasn't so. contesting it either, so yeah. we're okay with it. Yeah. I thought they could have given him an yeah. account. Because sometimes too, you look in their eyes and shit. Yeah. You look in the fighters' eyes and you see like, are they there or not? 
yeah. Dude, what about did you guys watch the Jiu Jitsu match with Joseph? Oh, did Rutulio win Rotolo. or whatever? Rotolo, yeah. yeah. Rotolo. I heard it was good, hard. It bro, because they're gonna fight soon again. Ro- Rotulo Ty was he's smoking cool. everybody, bro. He's smoking everyone that yeah. he competes against. Hard he couldn't pass hard. Joseph Chen's guard. And Joseph Chen is legit. He's good. So I was really excited. He's 19, to see, 19 yeah, years old. I was really excited to see how they'd clash and how their styles are clashing. But Ty Rotulo, he's like he's a buzzsaw, man. And he usually outpaces everybody, but for you to retain your guard like that for that whole match, that's so tiring. That's so hard. So uh, Joseph yeah. Chen's legit, man. I don't know anything about jujitsu. I was watching it. I'm like, this looks hard. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Gay." laughs> yeah, I wanted to watch Butcher Catch-Up instead. Okay. Yo, bro, you guys watch this? this is, I'm going to play this. You can watch this. This fight was nuts. This is not a real fight, but okay. Nah, it yeah. was. Watch your mouth, dude. How, dude. Did, the, how did Butcher Catch-Up get into the what ifs? <laughs> how is that a real name? How you? you How the stop fuck? Oh, is it Boucher, Boucher, I, I, I wonder if they let us let them choose their names, right? Like, yeah, I like ketchup. <laughs> so today I'm going to be called ketchup. <laughs> My brother's name job? is Mustard. I am a butcher. But look at the striking, dude. Yeah. dude I guess like they Gardenia. fought before. In where? So God. when they first started, they Ooh. fought. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did they fight? This is like a street beefs fight. Street yep. beefs, Africa. Come on. Hey, look, at this, look at this. Hammer fists are not against the rules. Okay. Mm. You can yeah. throw hammer fist. Damn, he's Zed. Why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> he got them Zed. Should I get up? I don't know. My Fuck name it. Is... I'm going to get up. It's not my time. <laughs> my name it's is not Ketchup. My, time. my name is Ketchup. Yeah. Wait, is that who's Butcher Ketchup? Which one's? Blue, what do you, who do you think Butcher Ketchup? Just don't tell him. Who do you think Butcher Ketchup? There's one guy in fucking Hawaii swim trunks. Falls <laughs> 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 on a vacation. Uh, oh, is this Vertex though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this Vertex? Yeah. That's his middle name. <laughs> Which uh fair text ketchup. Oh wait, yeah, the tape. Okay. Okay, yeah, but your ketchup's kinda crazy. How you got fucking uh rug rug thrown uh fucking head mm-hmm. kicks and shit? Oh my oh my god. Good. Like every time he punches. Look at this. That was a sanctioned. I'm so Bro. confused. Bro, that was crazy. like some fucking <laughs> fake ass fall, that most fakest fall I've ever seen before. He looks like he drives a bus at LAX. <laughs> This will <laughs> to the parking, not even like far outside of LAX. He does. <laughs> Is his name still Ketchup? Yes. <laughs> Boucher. Boucher. Is it Boucher? Ooh. Boucher, 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 Boucher Ketchup. Boucher. Yeah, Boucher Ketchup. Are they from where? Ketchup? Cats up. Like first of all, what if he says a cats up? Cats up. <laughs> it's a little would, fancy. No. Would you ask? Oh, are they from Kenya? Is that the Kenya flag? I think it's Ghana. It's a part of Africa. That's all I know. Uh, might yeah, be Ghana. Yeah. Senegal. Mm-hmm. Senegal or Ghana? I think it's Senegal. Look at this. Look at this fall. Uh-huh. I swear, I feel hey, like man, I'm making... not going to lie. Wait a second. Was that a knockout? Uh, uh. Hold on. Look. Bro. Wait, he might have. Oh, look. That... Damn. And then look. He's zesty he with it, bro. Pushes zesty with it. With it. Shit. Fuck, bro. Look at him. He's like, ah. Uh. Look, homie. Uh. Hey, look at the homie in the back. The, the. He's yeah. laughing. He's laughing. Like... <laughs> <'Cause laughs> the ringside guy is hell... laughing. Yeah. Uh. But you know what's kind of embarrassing about this, too? <laughs> like, Rug Rug is cheering right now it's like bro you shouldn't even be doing that you should just be looking at like what the fuck just happened yeah both that- these guys got abdu rosic face though for <laughs> 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 they both got abdu big versions face. yeah for real kind of uh, that's kind of how i feel like what were you talking about power slap earlier it's kind of how i feel about the power slap yeah. too like when they knock someone out they're like yeah they're like talking shit i'm like but he couldn't move yeah <laughs> Like, like, just, hey, but low key though, that probably gets your dick hard, dude. It do, and I'm sure if I knock somebody, somebody out by slapping, uh, out, I'm gonna do the same shit, bro. But I would expect you guys to talk shit to me because I talk shit, dude. Yeah. Wakanda right. forever, dude. like the real Black, Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. My boy Chadwick. That I bet you he was crazy, so bro. upset when that movie Boom. came out. Bink. Oh. That shit is so nice. It looks like his eyes was closed. The too. balance you have to have for that shit is insane right like just be able to like float back and then immediately that throw a and kick. just the eyes like yeah you know what i'm boom, saying boom boom he's just ready to throw it at all times bro oh and you see the reaction from the corner man yeah Oof. that always hurts my feelings Eesh. a little bit but yeah he 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 timed that so boom boom, boom. Uh, yeah yeah my this is why you can't mess with these tie guys bro i want him to fight boucher ketchup <laughs> I think you tired. could fight Boucher Catcher. <laughs> Dude, Boucher oh, Catcher so versus so. Bob Sapp. Book it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. oh, God. I don't want to get hit by that. That left heck. I still right. can't yeah, believe so till this day would Bob Sapp beat Ernesto Hoos. That <laughs> yeah. shit made no sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think Hoos didn't talk about that yeah. anymore. Yeah. He's like, he weighed 200 pounds heavier than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hey, he was so bad, Bob Sapp. Like, yeah. 
Absolutely. All it takes is one from the uh, motherfucker. Yeah, my yeah. collarbone. Uh. <laughs> when Miracle Crow Cop just yeah. beat the shit out of him. <laughs> you got to be able to do takedowns on that guy, bro. Shout out to our boy really quick, Salt Poppy. Oh, he fought? I didn't even know he fought. Oh, he it, oh yeah. it was. I heard it was He fought on this illegal stream site. There we go. I, I heard it was... Uh, it was like this guy's like first boxing match or something, mm-hmm. and he just beat the shit out of him. Damn, they and he was actually really nice because I saw the fight, I saw this match. Yeah, look at this body. Saw that's, Poppy was being so generous. That's why he went to the bro, body. Wait, that wasn't even that hard. Wait, hold on. Look. And look, and you see, no, no this is up. the third knockdown with Ooh. the body shot. Oh, so he lost this Ender, because yeah. in social knockout, three knockdowns, you're done. You're d- okay, but so, also look at. The- oh wait, hold on. P- Poppy lost? No, Poppy, no, Poppy won. Oh, okay. I th- for some reason, I thought you. Hey, so man, who has the lost. Filipino gloves? Go. If you get knocked down three times, you're pretty much done. So <laughs> nice shot. he already had a body shot where he fell down twice before. Uh, okay. And so Salt Poppy, even when he was crouched over, he was mm. just tapping him on the head and he kept looking for the body shots mm. instead. So he was actually being really. He nice. helps him up too. Yeah, I know like, who hey, Poppy. I, but for some reason, when you said that, I thought it was like you. You're not allowed to knock your opponent out. <laughs> <times. laughs> I was like, really? What the fuck? That ring looks small yeah. too. Bro. It was small as shit. Oh, it's the same. It's Social Knockout Three. It's where Till fought. Yeah, yeah, dude. A real okay. promotion. Yeah, um, they, they need to give him somebody real. Like that. That was not a fair match, and it, like, you could tell because he was kind of playing with his food. Yeah, I actually would like to see him fight Jake Paul. That'd be. Fun. I mean, the size t- is too different though. He's like one fifty, you know. Uh, yes. Salt Poppy, he kind of went up in weight, so I think he's like at one seventy, one eighty. So he's like twenty. Brother, off, he's yeah. gonna fight Jake. Jake Paul's gonna fight Mike Perry, right? Yeah, Mike Perry. Yes, they had they had a little uh, on Errol Hawani show. They were That's kind of going crazy. at it. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, and they said he wants to fight him in Bear. He called him an too? appetizer. He called him a mo- mozzarella Mike stick or something like that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Mike Tyson's the main one, so he called him a mozzarella Mike appetizer. <laughs> Uh, uh, some uh, MMA news. Iri Projaka claims he had staph infection, even though I said everything was fine. It wasn't. How you say his name? Projaka. 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 I like it. Um, is that the new thing? Everyone just has staph infection. Dude, I just don't Alex, think you look it's pissed. Smart. <laughs> I just feel like these people really think Who they're is? so much better than Pieta, and then he beats the shit out of them, and they just can't handle it. Mm. Like Jamal Hill is just going on this crazy thing. Like even if you did, bro, just don't say anything. It looks doesn't look good. Yeah. Like you lost, bro. Like and it wasn't like you had a staph infection. You lost early in the fight. It's not like it went like five rounds and you got all tired and shit. Like it happened. I think quick. every time I fail, I'm just gonna say I have a staff infection now. Low key, it's yeah. a good excuse. I think. Yeah, my car broke down. Staff but that's the thing. Like if it was round five and you got knocked out and then like, I had staff, it's like, oh, okay, maybe that's why he was. But it's like, bro, you got fucking rocked at the end of the first round and finished in the beginning of the second. Especially, you know, we mentioned this on the previous podcast when he was fighting Pejeda, he did not come with a new game plan mm-hmm. at all. Stand up still. Yeah, he still chose through the sa- same stand. Up the same head movement, and then Pereira already had his timing down off the jump because of their last fight, and they fought recently too. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like he, it's like their first fight was almost like a camp for this fight. Yep. So he was already ready for everything, mm-hmm. and it was worse than their first fight. Yeah, he was already dialed. Dude, when Pereira yeah. posted that sparring footage with that heavyweight boxer. Oh, bro, he broke his like, nose. I was like, bro, these guys don't have a chance against this. They fool, can't. Bro. They can't stop. Not on the no. stand up. I feel bad for the MMA media, like for Yuri and stuff, because it's like. They'll probably have a interview with like Ara Hawani and this one clip of him, yeah. like just explaining like, yeah, bro, you know, it wasn't that good. And then they make the headlines where everyone's like, you're a fucking yeah. all these goddamn excuses, you fucking. Suck. I know, probably literally right after this, <laughs> but it happened in the first round, so it didn't really affect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they kept that out. They <laughs> like, with it. It's a slow week in yeah. the media. Huh? Yeah. Poor guy. Poor dude. Yuri, dude. Yuri's still dub. I'll watch any of his. Fights. He didn't talk about his points. I want to hear what he said about his points. Though. Did that shit like crack? It looked bro, like it, it looked like, broke. Like, I thought it was like off the head. I thought it was off the head kick, but it was after the punches. Like oh. he got socked once, and you see a pop. You see a break. Damn. I just want. I just hope his hair is okay. <laughs> it looked like a snap, like spaghetti. Noodles. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, his hair is stiff. <laughs> I know. Like, uh, it's a moisturizer in that thing. Fuck. We got a fight <laughs> announcement: UFC Paris BSD versus Hanato Moicano. How do you guys feel about this, bro? Big bro, huge betting favorite. That's a good bet. Really? Hey, Guess put what? me on that bet. Hanato. Yeah, put me on that bet when you guys bet, because. Hey, Hanato Maikano's good, bro. But BSD? Dude, okay, what the f- look, What? What do you say? <laughs> okay, what? Well, 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 he well, knocked well, down Matt Cool. What happened yeah. when he fought Dustin Poirier? <laughs> Got a shit rock, dog. Hanato Maikano's good, bro. People are sleeping on him. His ground yeah. game, bro. Him his on the ground? mic? Dude, even his Chef's striking, kiss. bro. Like, he, he can strike. I mean, I know he got fucking knocked the 
out by Rafael, but he was still striking with him and landing some stuff too. He's w- so well rounded everywhere, and I don't know. I the, think the uh, only concern I have with Hinato is that when you see Hinato get rocked or cracked or he starts like degrading in a fight is when somebody pressures him hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if Hinato's not the one putting on the pace, he tends to run into trouble, right? For example, when he fought somebody like Jose Aldo, Jose Aldo was punking him all the way through, mm-hmm. right? You see somebody, um, I'm running, I'm running blanks right now, but if you just go through his fights, just watch Hinato get pressured. Yeah. He tends to get cracked. Yeah. And that is Benoit's main thing. And he's not smart when he gets cracked either. Yeah. He gets cracked and he kind of just stands there and still wants to strike. But part of me feels like BSD, he a wild boy too. He, he is, is a wild boy. He's a super wild boy. And then you ha- he has that, he has his ground game. Like Hanato's ground game is actually quite legit. And it's one of those things where you go, how come he doesn't use that more often? Yeah. But the times he did, like when he fought Jalen Turner, I thought that shit was over, bro. Because mm-hmm. I expected Jalen Turner to go out there and just kind of smoke him. Oh, he almost, he basically, he basically did. Like did. Yeah. Yeah. He pretty much did. Yeah. But then, you know, he allowed Moicano to get back in the fight. Mm-hmm. He did everything that I predicted he was going to do and lost. <laughs> yeah. Like, how? yeah. And, and if BSD does a similar thing where he hurts him early and he can't put him away, mm. I feel like Moicano could get his ass. Yeah. But. I think, I think, I... I wonder the exact numbers on the odds because if he's a huge, that's money right there because he could definitely beat. Uh, but it's in Paris, though. I know. Yeah. Home soil is different. I, honestly, bro. I'm seeing a finish, but I'm seeing a submission. I still feel like. I think Jaylen, one of those guys is going out. Jalen yeah. Turner's still screaming in a pillow right now. Yeah. Because Damn, of that. bro. Jalen Turner should have fought fucking BSD. That would yeah. have been real yeah. cool. That been yeah, that was like, fight. man, that was such a... That loss don't even make sense right now. That Hinato loss should not be... Bro, he had fucking, that fight, man. He fucking... I mean, he had it. He had that fight so had. Done. It was done. Done. He, he tried to do walk off. Walk off. Shit. I was like, "Why are you walking off?" Yeah. I'm like, "You can't. You can't. Don't try." Y'all, everybody, y'all ain't Mark Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just keep going, bro. Hey, like, keep it like Masvidal, dude. Super yeah. necessary. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Especially nowadays when people be complaining so much. Like, don't even just aim for a a, a, a walk off, right? Because then it's like you see how much these refs, sh- how much shit they get stopping fights too early, too this, too that. That's a good. Point. Don't even, don't even do yeah. it. Just keep going, bro. Yeah. Uh, another call out. We have Aljamain Sterling calling out Diego Lopez. Good fight, honestly. You like it? I want to see Aljo fight grapplers. Yeah. Like yeah. he called out Mosvar. I really wanted to see that. Diego Lopez, Lopez. I really want to see that. Yeah. That's going to be a fun fight. I'm going to go Diego Lopez. Yeah. Dude, I think Diego Lopez is going to be unstoppable for a little bit until I think he gets Aljo, to those top I guys. think Aljo climbs his back and chokes him out, dude. Yeah, I agree too. Peter Jan style. No. Yeah. Not Peter Jan style because that didn't happen to Peter Jan. Yeah, I was like, I mean, what are you talking about? I mean. I'm saying Aljo all day, baby. I mean, Corey Sanhagen style. That's what I meant. Oh, so. shit. I got my whites no. mixed up. I think that uh, <laughs> Diego Lopez's eyes are too good for Aljo to do what he wants to do. I think not, not with all this in his face. Ooh, do with the bangs go to the, the hey, low key though. We were talking about in the UFC 303 fight, Diego Lopez's hair is perfectly oh, yeah, out he, of his eyes. He cuts they, they, it right at the thing. They do Chinese bowl cut, you think? They put a bowl <laughs> <laughs> cut. Told you, Did dude. you guys notice? You see, they remember because we were talking about the house, but he 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 um talked about how oh. he kept rubbing his neck. Staff, we know we imme- yeah, oh. we immediately noticed it. He kept touching his neck like this, so even afterwards, uh, the he ref thought he punched his throat but he in the post prince conference he says when he was a little kid he got a huge scar under his chin and sometimes it starts to itch really bad oh yeah and it was itching so nervous he kept, tick, he kept touching it because it's like a tick yeah but no i like this fight bro i like if i hope diego takes this because he's been wanting to fight that mosvar kid mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. but it's like bro you've been calling that fool out but now all of a sudden that guy wants to fight you like nah fuck him fight aljermaine if That's this fight, fight happens i go diego lopez by knockout Ooh. Yeah, I'm with I, David, bro. I, I 100% believe that Diego Lopez can knock out Aljo. It's going to be cool to see that Diego sure. with an actual training camp, bro. Not because I, I don't respect Aljo, right? I just think that Aljo is now moving up in a weight class yeah, where, people ha- where the yeah. power is different. Diego's and, big. And we have seen Diego Lopez be so good at positioning himself, moving in and out. When he step back counters, it's so fucking fast. And he's nasty in the clinch, bro. too. Exactly. Yeah. Aljo, the, the hard thing is that he's so weird. 
You yeah, know what I mean? He's, he's hella awkward. He's just an awkward guy. So he's, he's a hard. funky guy. He's like yeah. a he's funk funky. Master. <laughs> and I think I think that power is for real because Diego knocked out or TKO'd fucking Sadiq. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Sadiq and people legit. don't finish Sadiq, bro. Sadiq so is super legit. I think that power is. Yeah. I'm just excited to finally see him get like some rest in like a full training camp. I feel like he he's had to fight so many times on short notice and not like a full yeah, training yeah, camp yeah. and shit. So I, I'm excited for it. Bro. I like Aljo though, going for these hard people though. Yeah, man. that's, that's like dope, dude. It's the better. young kids. I, I was, I was Aljo, such man. a huge fan of Aljo back in the day, bro. Oh I, no, you were talking about him so much. I, I, I always Loved been like him. he was going to be the champ. He's going to be a champ Called for a it. while. Yeah. yeah, but he kind of he kind of did get a little annoying. But I like him. At, <laughs> I, kinda, I like him at featherweight. Like that Diego fight. I do think Diego's going to win, but I, I think that could be a really fun fight. It's crazy when you look at certain fighters and just by. These small little decisions could have changed the whole trajectory of of his life as a fighter, right? Mm-hmm. With Aljo, if he never did the crying thing and took a photo of that belt, oh, yeah. fans would feel so differently about it. It's all it, optics, really. Right? Yeah. It's really that oh, yeah. that was the beginning of his downfall in terms of his a fan perception. The social, yeah. Right? Because he already had a few things that people didn't like, right? Like his fighting style tends to be a little boring sometimes. Um, when he does the whole little, you know, I swing my head back and forth on the floor, Ooh. where you know <laughs> yeah. he kind of like cheats the system to make yeah, sure he yeah. doesn't get knocked out. People already didn't like that. That was the one nail in the coffin that people needed to be like, "You fucking Bro. gotcha, yeah. yeah, dude." Imagine that didn't happen too. Like Peter Yan would have. Well, imagine if Peter Yan was still champ at that point. Aljo would have never fought him. Sean, Sean might not be. I know, but even the Sean fight, everybody thought, or a lot of people thought, hey, Jan yeah, won. Yeah, go watch that fight again. He still, Peter won, dude. No, yeah. Peter, yeah, yeah. He fucking won because it, I went back to read some of the older comments too. People keep talking about how hard Sean cracked him. Every time Sean cracked him hard, Piotr hit him harder back. Mm. So there was the biggest, fu- biggest shot that uh, Sean had was in that second round where he hit him with this hard overhand. Piotr got rocked. He moved back. Then Piotr hit him with even a harder overhand, mm. and then he dragged him to the floor and butt fucked him on the floor after that. So mm. why is that Good considered? Move. You know Five what I'm saying? Speaks, bro. Good yeah. move. So like, and also he was too, up in his guts. Dude. Yeah, dude. He made sweet <laughs> fucking love to him, dude. And the person who's making love is the always person to win. Mm. Also, too, Sean was a fence grabber that whole fight. It fucking pissed me off just yeah. a little bit. Just well, he did this one thing too, where uh, he gained position where Piotr had his back, mm. and he was about to drag him to the floor. Sean grabs the fence. He sweeps under. He rolls out. It's the worst, and they didn't call anything. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" They should reset it. Yeah, Yeah. I was listening to DC talk about the whole Aljo thing, and the way he presented the facts, I was like, "Oh man, I've been looking at this thing all wrong." He goes, "If that fool didn't take that belt, if he didn't take that uh, DQ win, he probably wouldn't have been champ. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have been able to defend it and actually make like tons of fucking money. money, Yeah, Mm -hmm. you know, and like the whole thing about like his belt." That was posted, and he was at the party afterwards. It's like, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do like, about that. Yeah, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. But shit. the fact that he was able to to defend his title, what was it, four times? Yeah, multiple three, times. Three, three times. Beat, so three Udo, times. he beat um, Dillashaw. 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 Who was the other one? No, maybe just the two then, because he won it. Oh, Peter. P- Peter. Oh, yeah, he defended three it against times. Peter. Three yeah. times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, damn, bro, as a UFC champ, as a defending champ, Think about here's the pay-per-view. The, here's the hard part, though. TJ Dillashaw, he dislocated his arm. Yeah, absolutely. So he got, he got gifted that win. The Piotr Jan one, how he got the belt, mm-hmm. people don't agree with that as mm-hmm. well. Yep. Right? So he, his wins and his defenses also doesn't help his legacy. Yeah. And that's, it just sucks for him. I feel mm-hmm. bad for him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like how he won it in the fashion, in the way that he defended it wasn't good, minus one time. But I feel like that drive and shit is probably going to carry him through through featherweight. That's why I like his the featherweight, featherweight run featherweight. because he's brand new start. He's got a chip on his shoulder, right? Yeah. Like everyone's like, oh, you're whack, you're this, you're And lost. he's good. Look at who he beat, bro. He yeah. beat a it's lot of pretty good crazy. people, bro. Like choking at Corey. Yeah. Also, too, that's the same thing that happened with Henry Cejudo, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. He felt like there was certain, like the way he won the belt off of DJ, they, everybody thought that DJ won mm-hmm. that shit. He lost that. He lost that shit, and then he won that. The way he won against Dominic Cruz, like Dominic Cruz was getting up, that was controversial. So there's just a lot of weird things that happen. Yeah, dude. Just, that 135, DJ, yeah. They fucked up by getting rid of DJ, bro. He's so dude, good. He's oh, so, so like, so, dude. I think he blew up ever since leaving. So DJ. I was telling him, good for him. Yeah. I don't know. So at International Fight Week, they were talking to Pantoja, right? And they asked him, "Oh, when you have a next fight?" Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, "Oh, it's actually gonna be in the next like three, four months." And he's like. It's a name that no one expects, 
come back. DJ. But it's huge for my legacy. I'm like, bro, they signed DJ. It's, Mahi- you, it's any- Muhammad Mukayev. <laughs> no. Whoa, whoa. Dude, dude, I bet you, <laughs> I bet they you don't anything, have- they signed DJ back, and he's going to fight Pantoja. They need Pan- to sign no, back. Pantoja fights. They put a question mark on the person fighting Pantoja. You hear Mystery the song? Fighter. It's, I'm coming home. DJ comes out. Boom, wins the belt. Done. Dude, because he could still be all these people at hundred percent, bro. One twenty five. Yeah, he's triple, quadruple champ. Yeah, who's that, gonna who's gonna touch him at one? And I think now because he's done he's done so much like work outside, he can come back to the UFC and finally start making those big money, and those yeah. pay views that they wanted from him. But I think that's it. And dude, talk happen. about how good he is on the mic. Like he's such a good oh, yeah. podcaster. He's great. Like him interviewing all the fighters. Like the Nate, like you said, I, after I you talk about the how Nate funny Diaz, was that? Yeah, that shit is so funny. I watched yeah. that one too. That one was good. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, it was I, great. I think, dude, I hope he comes back. That'd be sick. Well, I mean, that would be the first time the UFC actually gonna give him a paycheck over a hundred dollars. Yeah, for real. Oh. And honestly, he could be double champ, right? Because when he's fighting at one, he's yeah. like one thirty ish. And how much fighting. better does that look for the UFC? Is like yeah. we let our guy go for Ben Askren, and he's coming back. He smashed all your boys. Mm-hmm. He'll come back here. He's coming back, and he's still on top. Yeah. He's the best in the world. He's the best flyweight ever. I fucking hope that ever. happens. Yeah. Who's when, better than DJ? Even when DJ got knocked out because he could f- kind of forgot the rule set yeah. <laughs> of one, and then he comes back and knocks him out in the With same the fashion. same knee, bro. Dude, how fucking amazing. What a that. gangster. He's he a guy that's twice his size. He beats everybody in that. Well, let's in let's flyweight. go through it. Uh, champ, champion. Beats him. Done. Brandon Royval. Beats Done. Him. Brandon Moreno. Done. Mm-hmm. He I mean, smokes everybody, dude. Smokes and guess everybody. what? He can make money now because they these guys built names up. Yeah. yeah. So DJ can actually make dude, some But money. now DJ is even a bigger draw than he was back in the UFC. Yeah. The when social he, media. Oh, right? bro, he comes back and then Tyra. fights at Bantamweight, beats Marab, Henry's... Dude. The guy that just beat Henry. Yeah. That'd be well, fucking we got sick. <laughs> dude, so Marab hey, man. Henry. We got it, bro. I'm not going to lie. I got so twisted. For some reason, I thought Marab and Henry were training partners. <laughs> so I thought that shit They're was They're both fun. connected. Yeah, but they are connected. Hey, who do but... you think is going to win? Kai Car France or Urseg? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with that. Uh, oh, that's tough. I've been out for a year. I'm going to go Urseg. I might go Urseg, bro. I'm going to go he's active. He was active, and he, he didn't look bad against... Um, Pantoja, he like great. he he had yeah. great moments in that fight, and you could just see the the experience come in. So I feel like uh, that pay per view, Urseg's legit. Whack, but yeah, he was a. Uh, I think <laughs> I think Urseg. That pay per view sucked. So I don't bad. think it was three hundred one, right? Damn, Pantoja didn't make. Remember we were, talk, tough one. we were talking about that a long time ago too. How it was gonna be so bad. After Especially after three hundred. Oof, that yeah, shit was so right whack, bro. Uh, all right, let's get some fight picks. Uh, we got Nama Yunus and mm-hmm. filling in for I forgot who Mason. Barber for Barber Mason is Barber. Tracy. Cortez. I think uh, Tracy Cortez gets pieced up. You think so? I, I'm actually not a... I'm a fan of Tracy Cortez. Why'd you just like old black man? Hey, shout out my uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fan, fan of Tracy Cortez. Why are you looking at your lips like that? <laughs> Rubbing your hands. Hey, shout out my AZ girls. Like, yeah, but uh, I'm not a fan of her fight style. I don't... I, I personally... She, what would you? How would you describe her? she brawls style? too much or what? No, I just don't think she's like technically that sound. Um, I think she has a lot of holes in her games, and I think that Rose Namajunas is just going to style on her ass. Uh, I don't think it's a good matchup for Tracy Cortez at all. It's a good matchup for Rose. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think Rose is going to fucking dog walk her. I saw this clip. Damn, Damn. Oh, were you yeah. Ian Gary fan, bro? I know. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell, dude? Yeah. I think he's, he's like, gonna, I'm going to fucking dog walk. I'm going to dog walk a thousand. He's just not about. He's going to. She's going to fucking dog walk that bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Whoa, I'm just Chill using out. fight terms. Like, <laughs> I, like, I like both of them. We're just talking about it as fans. I just feel like <laughs> Tracy's number one. She's coming in last minute. Mm-hmm. Rose Nama Yunus is a former cha- champion, and style wise. This is a terrible matchup for Tracy. Mm-hmm. I think if Tracy had a longer camp, I would probably be like, oh, maybe. But right now, I, I don't think so. I saw this interview with Rose and this guy. It was just more of a clip. And the guy asked, is Trevor Whitman going to be in your corner? And she said, no, he's not going to be. And Uh-oh. then he asked, like, is there a reason for that? And then she's like, I'll address it after my fight. Oh, no. We'll see what happens. It'd be interesting. Ooh, this is an act- X factor for me. I think I had Rose, but. I got Tracy, bro. I'm going Tracy now. No, I Trevor? think she got think none she to wins. lose. How do you think she wins? Honestly, I think it might be a decision. Yeah. I think she has nothing to lose, so she's going to come out. Like, even if she loses this fight, it was on short notice. I don't know what it is, but ever since Rose went up, 
She don't look the same like she was looking down at. Like power wise, she mean? she also Probably. hasn't been training with Trevor Whitman for the past couple fights. Okay, and now she, you guys are making me second guess. And no, she you looks said it's too it late. Looks it's like too late. Okay, she's okay, go no. dog walker. It really <laughs> looks <laughs> like it because <laughs> her last two fights, I you're like, man, this ain't Rose who beat Yuana. This ain't Rose who beat Zhang Wei Li. This ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her last. I was listening to Corey yeah. Sanhagen talk about how he's training with Trevor Whitman. Yeah, he's. And they're asking like, okay, what's so special about him? He's like, it's just the reps. Yeah. The reps that he makes you do over and over and over and over again, which kind of leads to why all his fighters, well, like Usman and Gaethje, they're great by their own, mm-hmm. but they just look a lot sharper yep. when they're with Trevor Whitman. And I think for Rose, when she fought Manon Ferro, which yeah. was a tough fight because Manon, Manon's like a fucking beast, you know? Yeah. Um, she just didn't see, like you said, didn't seem as sharp as she was, as yeah. she would have been with Trevor. And then that's why I noticed, like, oh, Trevor Whitman's not in the corner. It's just so, like Pat Barry's taking over, and I don't know. I don't know. There's something about Pat Barry. I just he a little funny guy, dude. A little, a little weird, but I don't know. I, I shot, hey, shout out my girl Tracy Cortez. Hit me up afterwards and go get some like Barrow's pizza over there. Ain't that shit? All right, man. Relax, yeah. bro. Yeah. Relax. Relax. This guy's she's name coming, dropping a pizza. She's coming from Brian Ortega. All right, <laughs> relax. Bro, exactly, bro. Dude, I got think about changed. that. From Brian Ortega, Salvi dog. <laughs> Brian Ortega to Alex Acosta. Shit, hey, that's a big deal. Yeah. Never hey, know, dog. Hey, man, you, 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 my boy. But Brian Ortega, beautiful dog. Hey, Hey, I'm beautiful too in different, like, you know. Like, <laughs> y'all are reliable like a laugh. 92 Honda Civic. You know what I'm saying? Like Carl's Pizza. Like, do you see uh, Tracy Cortez doing that to Rose? Pull up Tracy Cortez's record for yeah. me. She, dude, honestly, she might. I mean, she might be she might able just to. She wrestle, dude. She's bigger, right? She, Yeah, she trains at Fight Ready, bro. They're a wrestling, like, heavy camp. I wonder if you she know? was in camp before she got the switch. Mm. That Yeah, that I don't know. Here's really the thing, don't. though. I just think Rose is too fast for her. She's too quick on the feet. Yeah. And then also, too, because Cortez, when she, when she treads forward, she plants her feet. Mm-hmm. I think Rose is just going to get that timing down, and mm. she's going to leap in with those crosses, get in and out, jab her face up. And she might not, she won't knock out Cortez, but she's going to piece her up every yeah. round. And she's going to dog walk her. Dog. <laughs> I would, walk her. A little I would lighter agree that, with A little you. lighter that time. So yeah. heavy. Walker. But just these last two fights I've seen by Rose, I've kind of lost. What was Rose's Rose. last fight? Hey, she won by decision. She was her her power shots weren't there because they weren't, I think yeah. she just recently moved up, so it looked a little pitter pattery. It was oh really yeah yeah Hebus he, he he was, was walking through those punches, dude. Yeah, but Rose was faster, had better footwork. Faster, she kept touching her up. I think that's going to be the same thing. Did she fight Yoel Romero? Oh, uh, Yoel Romero, I didn't. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Why did they use that shadow for a female fighter? <laughs> and that's for <where laughs> Carla Esparza. I don't get. <laughs> yeah, she's a champion, yeah. bro. Well, Carla she Esparza does kind of look like that though. <laughs> <laughs> traps, wrestler traps. Yeah. Oh, she lost to Pharrell. Okay. That does look like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I I, I, look like Sparza. I don't know, bro. I think I think it's just a change in the guard, bro. I just don't think Rose I was I mean I've been, always been a fan of Rose. I just don't think she's who she used to be. New era. You think? I feel and like she should have stayed at fucking one. Yeah, and especially her leaving class. Trevor and shit and just having Barry and all that shit. I'm like, I don't know, man. Because with with the Carla right, Sparza you now. The Carla Sparza fight that she lost, yeah, it was like the whole that? time I felt like the fight was there for her to win mm-hmm. if she pulled the trigger and she just didn't. And, and I know she was worried about the takedowns, yeah. So it's like if Tracy Cortez could hit her with a heavy takedown game yeah. plan, she might be able to. And in that fight, I don't even think um, uh, Pat Barry was her main cornerman, right? And remember, Trevor she... was there too, but I remember and, she, and Pat Barry was. She, yeah, he was like her main thing, and I remember him even telling her, "Don't worry about the don't booze. worry about the booze. You're doing exactly." I'm like, bro, that how are you not seeing? She's losing. Like this is and not like going. I said. I think Tracy Cortez is gonna dog walk Rose Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's you gonna Raul happen. Tracy Raul Rosa. Raul Rosa Namajunas. Everybody knows the name. This is how you know. I, I'm not solid in any kind of thing. Dude, I think these are one of those. These are one of the. This uh, is one of those fights where it's like that opportunity comes. You have to take it because I feel like Tracy's getting Rose at a good time. Tra- Rose isn't what she used to be. I mean, you just look at her last two fights. Hey, man, I'm going for my Rose, dude. And so there it is. Those I are... think Tracy's going to do it. Shout out Tracy. Hit my line. Three for Tracy, one for Rose. Dog walking her. Damn Santiago it. is going to win this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. I'm going to go. Positive. You know what? I'm not. I'm going Muslim. Yeah, I'm going Muslim too. I'm going Muslim. 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 He's Muslim. Kung Fu fighter. His Kung Fu fighter. His boxing's crispy. And Santiago's been getting finished and he's old, bro. Pull up Santiago's know. record. He lost his last fight against uh, Kevin Holland. 
That's Lockout. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I think it might be two in a row. Okay. No, oh, he won. Pieta and then beat Morono though. Beat Morono's Morono. good. Lost to Pereira. That's different. Everyone's he's losing like, to Pereira. He's a two hundred five pounder fighting at a. He lost to class. Neil. That's a good. I mean, he so he's like Jing one Liang. on, one off. Oh, oh yeah, shout out Jing Liang. He's coming back. Shout, shout out to the shout league. Out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He has a fight coming he's up. Full on. Prado. You know, I got OG bias. I think Santiago's gonna win this one. And he's gonna lose his next one and retire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got Muslim. I think he's gonna yep. knock him out. I think he get Mus- Muslim or whatever. I think I got Muslim, brother. I think he got. Uh, I think he got Santiago, dude. He wins Bro. the fight, retires right after. Yeah. Drew yes. Dober. <laughs> Drew Dober was supposed to fight Mike Davis. Yes. But then John Silva. Remember John Silva? Yep. He got the KO over um, uh, Jordan. This yeah. is such a good matchup, dude. Talk about a great matchup. I don't I'm know going John Silva, bro. I'm I'm going with the hot hand right now. John I'll Silva go John got Silva. power, dude. And, and Drew Dober got power too. Drew Dober's legit lost, too, though, right? And he got a chin, bro. He, he got, got the best Mokano. chin. That's what it yeah, was. He got the, the strongest chin. Strongest chin. The, 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 the only thing I don't like about John Silva, it's like, bro, just hurry up. Like he <laughs> he takes 45 minutes just to walk to the ring. I'm like, bro, just hurry the fuck up. Yeah. See the weigh-in? He he was walking up so slow, and then he got to the last one and just stood there. I'm like, bro, just go, He's dog. He's soaking like, it all in. That's what they say. Dude, soak that bro. shit in faster, dog. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> shit in faster, dog. I don't know. I think... Uh, do less, my boy. I do think... I think John, he's he's just like a new uh, new level athlete. We're going to start getting people like him in, in the UFC. I think Drew, Drew's always cool and he can always bring a fight, but I think uh, John Silva's going to win. I'm going to go John Silva John on that Silva. one, too. Yeah. Uh, oh, also, we forgot that it's Denver. It's, al- it's altitude. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you know what? I'm going Dober. Dober. Is that guy, <laughs> Dober. Yeah, that Dober. guy just fought, Yeah, and now he's having a coat, and he missed weight. Yeah, I'll go Drew Dober. Dober. I'm telling you, the Drew Dober, too. This actually changes all of our fights. Yeah. Dude, go up a little bit. Actually, go up a little bit. Drew again? Drew Dober. Who's acclimating? Rose, Rose lives, in, De- Rose lives oh, in altitude. I'm going Rose now. No. Oh, see? Arizona. Arizona's very I guess everybody's uh, a dog walker now, huh? Sea level, you I look think. like a dog walker. You look like a dog walker. Uh, I am a dog, you look like a dog walker. I still got Trace. I still got Muslim, but I, I think I'm going to go Drew because John Silva missed weight in his last fight, and then he's having to cut, turn around and do another cut right away. All right. I don't know. I got, I got Drew. All right, let's get to this quicker. We got Gabriel Bonfim. We got Angelusa, the guy that was stupid during the Brian Battle fight. So I'm I want to go Bonfim. Bonfim was a killer. Bro. Oh, yeah. Bonfim. That's an easy one for me. I'm going Bonfim. Yeah. Just so everyone remembers. Remember this idiot? Trying to yeah. fight Brian. Wait, Battle. what happened? How did that fight Remember stop this? again? Was it an eye poke? I poke? Or yeah, I poke. But Brian Battle was fucking. Peaceful. Yeah, he oh, beat your him. fucking and ass. And then he tried to fight him after. Yeah. He's like, bro, how's your eye now? He's like, I'll, I'll fucking kill you. I'll kill you. It's like, yeah. Oh, when really? he said I kill you, I got scared. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> so I got scared God. for him because you're gonna go try to kill him and then get killed yourself, bro. <laughs> 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 the fight. All right. Uh, ooh, Juliana Rosa versus Christian Rodriguez. I got Christian Rodriguez, bro. He, that kid's good, bro. Nah, he beat Ra- he beat Nick. Remember? Nah, I'm going. I'm going with. Uh, <laughs> That's right, right here. Going with Pat Riley, dude. Chee wees, dude. I'm gonna go for the Chee wee killer, Christian Chee-wee-wee. Rodriguez. Christian Rodriguez, legit. Just kidding. Yeah, Christian yeah. Rodriguez for me. Uh, we got Abdul Razak Al Hassan from Dune too, and Cody <laughs> Brundage. He was in Dune. <laughs> nah, dude. Oh, I got Brundage. Brundage is gonna wrestle his ass and beat him up on the floor. He off that Bo Nickel loss, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, he he's legit, dude. I Pretty think funny. when you lose to someone like Bo Nickel, and he actually kind of did. You get the it. touch. It's you get a touch. Booster. You get better. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna dog walk Abdul. It also shout out to uh, Boucher ketchup. So it was a Ghana flow. Ghana. Oh, Ghana. There we go. Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> Boucher Kenya. ketchup. I said Senegal. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Jasmine Justificus. Versus Fatima. I'm going oh. with the girl named Fatima, baby. Yeah, Fatima. I like that name. She's good, bro. She trains with Aaron Blanchfield. I, I remember Aaron Blanchfield posting about her, and this girl is really good. So I'm going with Fatima. Fatima. That's like, that name is just sexy. Joshua oh, Van, so baby. Hispanic, dog. Joshua Van, Joshua all Van. day. Whoop. Love that guy. Charles Johnson? Like, Trey, Charles Johnson? Oh, no, I got Charles Johnson, bro. That's the best haircut in the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got the little, yeah, he got yeah. the little, little low patch, the Matrix, bro. bro. He like, yo, fade up my low patch right quick. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Get plugged in. He just beat Hadley, and Hadley's, Hadley's good, a, dog. Yeah, yeah. So I Joshua got, Van got crazy heart, dude. And he's he's a fucking like Olympic wrestler or something like that's that. That's Filipino, too. right? Yeah, he's an Olympic wrestler, bro. But he's from Myanmar. Joshua Van's from Myanmar. Oh, yeah, dude, he's jungle Asian. He's Burmese. My Did boy. he beat? You ever okay. heard of the Burmese Python, brother? That's dude, what he's gonna do to him. Remember bro, when yeah. that guy was like, "I need to do something. Let me copy Patty's." Yeah, remember? And then just let got me be Asian Zuma, Patty Pimlet. Zuma Gula. That is the one of the <laughs> ugliest people I've ever seen. He wants to be a Dude, beetle. <laughs> this fool looks like he sells kimchi on the street. That looks. <laughs> I saw ladies in Pusan that look like that. 
Get the fuck out of here, dude. That looks literally this guy fake. is like hey, should we butchering all... fish in the hey. ocean's tide. <laughs> should we all do the cut, bro? Dude, I can do the How cut do now. do that? Like, I can, well, that cut I could do. You ever see those composites like couples do? Like if we had a kid, yeah. what it looked like? That's what it looks like. <laughs> AI generated baby. What the fuck is that, It was that, like, dude? make Patty Pimblet from Kazakhstan. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Hands, please. Yeah. <laughs> Zumagulov. Oh, my bro, God. Bro, what? Where's he from? Oh, that is a weird looking dude, bro. I don't even, even say He kind of looked like Henry Cejudo with his hair short. <laughs> Fucking meanest looking lesbian I'll I've say ever this, seen, dude. Haircut not working, though. It is not. Zumagulov. It probably gets in his eyes, boy. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, huh? His head gets all hot. He probably gasses out. He'll probably rip that shit off easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luana Santos for oh, Maria I Agapova. Like lesbians. I go Agapova. She's great. No, that's Love a fun her. fight because Agapova. I remember she's when good. she came in, everybody thought she was going to be like Luana, but Luana Santos is going to win. Who did she lose to? Oh, yeah, that's right. Grappler. I got Luana. I think Luana has the more powerful strikes and she's going to win. Brazil. Brazil. Uh, Josh Framo, Andre Petrosky. Oh, Petrosky keeps fighting every. Two weeks. That's a fifty-fifty, bro. He's good. Who, can you click on him? Damn, I, I don't know. We fought again. Um, oh, he lost to McCown. Remember, he got he got that. Uh, He's on a skid right that now. That guillotine or that standing Dars from. I think he wins this fight. Yeah. Montel yeah. Jackson, Damone Blackshear. Ooh, hey, who's got I a blacker mean, name? Guinness World Book of Records for the blackest name ever, <laughs> oh, dude. Who do you think wins? Who do you think wins? The Moan Blackshear, But Montel Jackson's classic. Yeah, but that's like that's like a standard name, bro. The Moan Blackshear? <laughs> that's special. Yeah. That's, that's special, special dog. Montel Jackson's sexy as fuck. That's a sexy Montel ass name. Montel Jackson. Hell yeah, dude. What's your name, Montel Like, DeMont, DeMont Blackshear, you can go by both names, too. Like, imagine A.O. or Blackshear. <laughs> I, wonder, <laughs> yeah. I, wonder, like, I wonder if they have nicknames. Can you check? click on their... I want to see what what's their nickname. The Ooh, monster. The moan, the monster, Black Sheep. That don't flow, though. Yeah. Right, check out Montel Jackson. Hopefully, it's the monster, the moan. Montel. Quick, Quick Jackson. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> they got to work on Hey, that's their, how you um, say because they don't have the C. Uh -oh. Quick. 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 Wait, you know, and I think yeah, their their nicknames are kind of wild. Yeah. Bilal still has the worst nickname in UFC history. You're wrong, dude. You're wrong. Because you're gonna remember, remember the, name the name when Bilal Muhammad chokes. That's up. the thing. He's about to fight for the title, and no one's remembering his name because he's so boring. This will hates Bilal. You think so he, much. You think he's gonna beat Bilal? Uh, Leon? Does no. Beat Bilal? I think rewatch the first Leon fight, and I think that's how it's gonna go for hey, all round. Even kind of different though. Who? Cool. Bilal, he's Bilal, a little bro, different. You got Habib. Habib, Habib dude. Habib's in debt, three million, bro. I don't care. He just owes a little bit to the IRS. That's just all. Just dude. a little. He left. He's in fucking. Dude, Abu and Dhabi. the fucking people are raiding and shit. I don't trust him no more, dog. Wow. You going to put that on my boy Habib, brother? I actually have a Habib shirt. I just bought one, and then this happens. I'm like, why? Are you all right, give it, it to me then. No, I'll, I'll take it. I'm still a Habib fan, but shit, I just can't trust him right now. <laughs> <laughs> he can't I don't wait for more that. news to come out. Yeah, Damon Blackshear. That's a sick ass name, dude. Damon Blackshear? That's a title. I think that's going to be on my new email. I'm going to go Damon Blackshear. I'm going to go Blackshear. So confusing. Black with a hyphen. Nick Dunn, Damon Blackshear. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Just Nick Damon Blackshear, Blackshear uh, at gmail.com. With a hat haircut. No, his name is Nick Dunn. Oh, he's white. No, he's Ching Chong. <laughs> 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 uh, guys, those are our fight picks. Uh, choose those. Those are all correct. You're going to make lots of money. Uh, once again, thank you to the casuals for supporting the show. The show <laughs> is growing. We're finally going to be hopefully on our way to making some moolah so we can do a lot more for you guys. And also, a lot of guests coming this yeah, way. Cool I just guys. actually got a text right now from someone that's coming on, so I'm glad we didn't talk shit about them on this podcast. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Everybody <laughs> knows by like the, the 300th episode, I might not be on this earth anymore. <laughs> you, might, you might die. I, I might, but guess what? That's how we get guests, Let's though. Let's go, baby. Come on. Yeah. All right, guys. Make sure you follow us, subscribe, like this page, leave a comment down below. We love you. Peace. 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 Peace.